Hey, what's going on, YouTube? AA Ron here. And we're going to go left. We are in the Georgia. This is the Georgia first look video for the YouTube. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. I've had, I think this is my fourth game. And uh, I'm feeling pretty confident about the ship uh, and, and all of her traits and her glory. Um, now, hopefully, we can make this turn without a destroyer spotting us because these spawns are so stupid that, uh, like, that guy's already spotted off of spawn. I'm actually going to stop my turn to allow the turrets to uh, catch. Then we're going to pop our engine boost and then take a take a cheeky shot. Maybe a, he's turning pretty hard out. and We do have some pretty floaty shells, but... Oh, yes. Let me shoot at you. Ooh, Rishi, you thought I was going to do that? Nope. You got a pretty good turning circle uh, and, and rudder shift time on this thing. We are running steering gears mods. As always, I will show you guys my build after the game. Uh, Tago, what are you going to do? Are you stopping? Let's see what we can do to that. Ooh, a Florida. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You need to watch your broadside doing this these maneuvers here, but play with your speed. Speed is going to be your friend in this thing. Uh, like I said, pretty agile for a battleship. I think Dipper's going to love this ship. Oh, shit. That's an Odin. Yep. There we go. You're going to be getting a lot of overpens on cruisers. I also think the decks of this thing were swabbed with gasoline because I've been on fire a lot. Now, we are running flammable cannon here, so uh, I, I guess that's maybe to be expected. How much of a turn are you going to do? We can hold this shot here for just a moment. Yeah, shoot that Ochakov. Get killed. Shoot that guy. Please don't be looking my way. Problem solved, sir. Overturned a bit. Have to get used to that rudder shift. Okay, yeah, do a full turn. We want a full turn. We want a full broadside. We can we can just kind of ruin your armor. Maybe a little high on that shot there with the turn. Oh, Richelieu's pushing hard. This enemy team is aggressive. Thought we are going to do better than that, but that's all right. These guns hit very hard. The problem is you're going to be overpenning a lot of stuff with just, you know, how World of Overpens is. Now, I am actually pretty far back in the map here, but that's because we kind of had to kite this due to this aggressive play um, from the, both the Odin and uh, both all three of these ships, the ships, the Ochikov, the Odin, and the Richelieu. Like, the Richelieu is almost in our freaking spawn. Uh, it's amazing. Let's see what we can do to a almost relatively... He's angled just a bit. Come on, give me something good. There we go. Alright, now we can do a turn here. Again, you're going to be playing with the turns if you want to play this thing how I think it's supposed to be played. You can tank with it, it does okay tanking, but uh, you, you, you tend to eat a lot of superstructure damage, as most American battleships do. Bye. Yep, let's go get the Odin. Take a cheeky shot at the Helena in the meantime. And then in the me also in that same meantime, we need to uh, get a little bit of some map position back here. We're gonna blind fire it. See this positioning though, two overpins. This positioning though. Guys, what what are we what are we doing? There's what we wanted. 
Florida? I'd love to shoot at you. Like I said, angled cruisers are what I think is going to be the, the best... Uh... Our team... My team is folding like a, a cheap patio furniture right now. Jesus Christ. I feel like I've done as much as I can to control like the flanks that are occurring. But they are just... They are doing nothing. They are doing like nothing to really help themselves. All grouped up in the base of the destroyer close to them, like... Come on, Death Strike. More overpens, bro. The Florida got touched, so we can't really touch him anymore. We, we all need to... Okay, good Torps. Good Torps, good Torps. Turn turrets. That is one problem, though, you will get with turning a lot, is uh, slow turret traverse. But I believe we can punch right through this Florida. He could actually nuke us. Uh, he's got HE loaded, so we're not too worried. Yeah, get off the board, thank you. That's a fire, though. Oh, Munchen, I'd love to just dev strike you. Enemies capturing the base. Wow, he's actually kind of hurting me. Death strike, please. Oh, those look good. Bye. Have a great time. Okay, we actually got to do. Uh, nope. Let's let's use our speed to our advantage. Let's turn into the Otago this way. That way we can loop around on the uh, Helena. Two death strikes in one game. Come on, turn the other way, rudder. Like I said, pretty good speed, pretty good rudder shift, and turning maneuverability. All my team needs to do in order for me to win this game, all they need to do... Well, thanks, auto-aim. Which way are you headed? Which way are you headed? I can't see the smokestack. There it is. Oh my god, guys. Just kill the DD. That's all we need to do. Overpens. Bloody overpens. There we go. One more shot. Let's get the Otago. Let's get the Helena. Let's get the Quacken. Like I said, man, this thing is like coated in gasoline. Did he slow down? I think he's dead. Now, actually, something that I need to be careful of here is not getting rammed. Because so that would not be fun. And, uh, oh my god. Holy shit, dude. What? I I'm literally gonna have to do everything on this, like, to, to get this win right now. Did you enjoy your stay? Enemies capturing the base. Go fucking figure. Problem solved, sir. Well, we pulled the meta jerk, got the Kraken, but, uh, Jesus, man, like... It's games like this that actually drive me insane. I, I think I've done everything for my team, and we're still probably gonna lose this game. If this DD is even remotely close to intelligent, he will never get spotted again. We probably can kill the Imagi with relative ease. We have, with one, our heal left, we have half our HP. Speed boost is active for another 25 seconds here. We'll get close. I don't know if we're going to get it. Uh, like I said, all I needed my team to do, the sack of absolute potatoes that this team was, all they needed to do was to kill the destroyer in the base, and I could have won this game. But this will be a pretty good first look. I think it highlights what the Georgia is good at. Um, are you guys going to be cowards and win the game that way? I could have used my engine boost a little more effectively there. But I didn't expect my team to fold like origami. 
made out of a napkin from Wendy's. Actually, Chipotle, I think, has better napkins. Let's go ahead and use the heel. Why not? Just throw it on there. Use all the consumables. I'm trying to spot this Amagi. Hopefully, the Amagi's in the base, and I can get a good reset. If not, then... Eh, fuck me. Here, let's just shoot the back turret. Get spotted. Oh. We might, we might, okay. Probably get a reset. Now the mass is going to be holding just to probably about half the capture points, so. What? Dude, that hat. I just lost the game because of that. He turned out. That's a, that's a, that's an L. I think. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable! Oh my god! I'm more upset that I missed that shot, that I didn't see he was turning out. 1,400 with a, just an incredible team. An absolutely incredible team. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and show you guys the, the Georgia. This is the first look, like I said, my fourth game. Um, I've got a pretty good idea for her. I like this build that I'm running right now. Uh, I, I must have missed that shot. The the accuracy is a little to be desired, and with only four turrets in the front, you know, if you if you don't aim right on line, then yeah, there's there's some questionable accuracy, but I think it's pretty good so far. We've got Sims on here with flammable cannon here. That's probably why we're catching on fire. We we switched gyrating drill bits for crisscross to 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 keep our speed. You want to have your speed in the battleship. We got marksmanship and then reaching out XXL as well as will to rebuild. I'm running a full dispersion build here with Cunningham and Sharnhorst. And I don't know. I'm gonna have to rewatch the video and see if I, if it was the Amagi's turn or my aim or the shell grouping. It's hard to see when you can't see the ship because we lost detectability through um, an island um, that you know I could have made when I was seven on summer vacation on the beach. But working as intended, right? War gaming. Okay, and the stats. Here we go. So we are running a triple booster, so keep that in mind when in, when looking at the speed uh, and the range of the ship. Survivability, 65,000. Pretty good armor. Um, not the best torpedo reduction, but yeah, you just keep yourself up to speed. And you should be able to, to outmaneuver most, matorp, most torps. You do take a lot of superstructure damage tanking, I feel like. Um, I tried to bow tank in my first game, and it, it went okay, but I was just getting HE spammed, and I did lose a good quarter, a good half of my health there. The 457's Mark I, uh, this is, I believe this is a paper ship, uh, so these were never created. Maybe they were tested, but these are 18-inch guns, not to be confused with the 460's from the Yamato. And knowing the overmatch mechanic will will let you know that the only ship that additionally you can overmatch, uh, and you know on top of the 27 millimeter bow is the 30 millimeter bow from the Edinburgh. Uh, it's you would think that you should be able to overmatch everything that the motto, but the three millimeters matter. Trust me, ask ask my girlfriend. Um, moving on, the AA Defense 91. It's pretty standard for American battleship. Maximum speed 34. Um, and again, that's with a speed flag and not crisscross instead of gyrating drill bits. So 34 with a 36 top speed, 36.4, 36.5 uh, with the engine boost active. Concealment is kind of, you know, sta you know, American standard battleship. Uh, not that great. So don't uh, don't turn broadside like I did in the beginning. <laughs> she got. A, a good uh, bit of momentum, and you're not, you know, you you know your teammates are not going to run into you. Armor's pretty, like I said, it's pretty okay. 32 millimeter, um, you know, bow and stern. Let me make sure here. Yep, and uh, pretty decent citadel. It's it's kind of like an Iowa. If you give side, you're going to get blasted by anything with with decent caliber guns. Um, now, it does look like it's almost below water, uh, but I've been citadeled at pretty close angle. It, it looks like it's actually below water, so uh, that's pretty good for, for brawling uh, and getting close. But uh, you will take a lot of plunging fire, which is how I, I lost half my health in another game. Um, 
trying to play the speed game. But it looks like the turrets are pretty strong, which is a good thing. I did have one of them read it out earlier um, because you only have two by three, so you only have six guns total. Uh, so you are lacking in a little bit of the DPM department. But hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you guys have the similar luck that I have and not get my teammates that I got in that last game. So let's throw it up on the tube sometime. Hopefully it's uh, you know not too aggravating re-watching that one and watching my team do absolutely nothing. But that is the Georgia. That is the campaign. We're going to go ahead and purchase this one uh, as soon as uh, Wargaming takes her away from me. So thank you guys for watching. Hope that you enjoyed that first look. Fourth game, so... Uh, my, my my final thoughts and impressions, it's a good ship. It's not a great ship. Um, it's definitely better than the Champagne. It's better than the Champagne by a mile. Um, I would get this campaign. Uh, the campaign rewards are usually worth it regardless. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get this one. And um, I would play this as a as a kiting, not a kiting, but a flanking fast battleship. You, that can bow tank if you need to. Um, I've been getting a lot of good citadels at angle on different battleships. Not full angle, obviously, but... Uh, not flat broadside, so it's got a lot of punch, um, but expect to overpin a lot of cruisers as well. Um, even at tier seven, I was I had a few tier sixes earlier that I was just punching. I was going through like like paper. So that is the trade off of the large caliber guns. But again, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. There's the first look from AA Ron. AA Ron out. Peace.